just so you know, we're comedians. Okay. Oh, nice. Here yeah, we go. so we do a talk show, so do <laughs> not expect. I was going to say, you look funny, man. <laughs> Seriously. You look, oh. funny. he looks more serious than yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's the balance. see how the funny's going to come out. Wow, well, he's so good at scouting. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, my God. So we are here with Greg Berhalter, Jersey legend. All right? I'm born and raised in Newark, New Jersey. So the first go. question I got for you, yeah. is it Taylor Ham or Pork Roll? And there is a wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Taylor Ham guy now. Yeah. Okay. Not the pork interview roll, continues. No pork yes. roll. <laughs> exactly. Let's the go. The rest of the interview right. was dependent on that yeah. answer. I would have walked away. Yeah. I wouldn't have blamed you. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Having been involved uh, in MLS for for a long time uh, in men's national team, the MLS getting to 25 years, yeah. and then uh, and it, you know, helping you get to where you are now. Yeah. Uh, what do you, do you? How much do you credit Major League Soccer for your own career and your uh, progress? Yeah. You know. So I think. I think there are two sides of the first side is as um, as a player you know MLS came in in 96 and it it gave players opportunities you know a lot of guys didn't have that opportunity they had one choice they can go to Europe or they could not play soccer professionally so MLS first gave the players that opportunity then they took it to the next level and they said okay now we're going to develop the infrastructure we're going to have these stadiums we're going to have bring high level players into the into MLS and now it's become a you know a fantastic league that's getting better and better with every year so we're you know we're really thankful for that second side of it is from a coaching standpoint you know the 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 patience of the ownership groups to to stand by coaches and let coaches work you know gave me the the ability to to um, execute my ideas and have them play out on the field, and, and that was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that, and it positioned me eventually to get the, this this role within the men's national team. Um, now, I'm born and raised in Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. Um, shouts to Newark. Uh, and so, <laughs> as I as this TV show keeps getting bigger and better, I start to think, what can I do philanthropically? And one of the things that I want to do is start an academy, so I can start selling these players, right, and start making a lot more money than I had when I started. <laughs> now, what position do you think would be best for us to start building, right? Like, which one do we need most? Is it left backs and right backs, or who makes the most money? You know what I mean? <laughs> most money strikers, man. <laughs> if you can, if you can have a forward factory. You you guys are going to be millionaires, billionaires, yeah. billionaires. Let's go. We're building Mbappes in Newark. Right. But I need left backs, man. So start building left backs right away. Right away, man. Can we get, can we get Alfonso Portuguese Davies? Population. No, we can't. Come on. No. Like, can we try? No, we can't. It's done. Yeah. 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 That's done. But here's a, you know, there's a big Portuguese population in Newark. Go right. down neck. Get some Portuguese guys with Brazilian roots and make them into left backs. There's a lot of left backs in Brazil, huh? That's the plan, okay? Yeah, you want to be a construction worker or a left back? Come on, my guy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> two, two very important paths yeah. in life. Uh, yeah. When you see players like uh, Gio Reyna uh, yeah. doing incredible things at Dortmund, um, are you sort of proud or do you immediately be like, I got to WhatsApp this dude to make sure he stays here? No, I mean, you know, me, me and Claudio went to high school together. Um, you know, there's a deep relation. His father was my club team coach. Um, you know, there's a, a really deep relationship there. You know, we're, I'm pulling for Gio first personally more than anything. I mean, he's, you know, he, he's like family. So that's the first thing, you know, the, the, um, just watching him and watching what he's accomplished in the short period of time has been, has been amazing. Now, the next side is selfishly as a national team coach, and I've said this from the beginning, is that we need our young players getting on the field and performing at the highest level, and he's doing that. Yep. And that's, that's great to see. And then when that comes, also comes the opportunity with the, with the U.S. men's national team. And it's, they're, they're steps that, um, that just follow each other, and that's one of them. So, you know, Gio's going to be involved in our, in our group in March, and he's going to make his debut in March. And um, it, it's, it will be nice to see how he performs at that stage as well. All right. And uh, uh, last question. I'm curious about you uh, coached in, in Major League Soccer uh, for a long time. You're coaching the men's national team. Uh, you mentioned uh, owners giving you a lot of patience and yeah. letting you grow. Yeah. Uh, when you're the men's national team head coach, there isn't that much. <laughs> much oh, you think? <laughs> much, <laughs> much of a leash. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about, Tell me about it, <laughs> that level of uh, pressure and, and, and criticism compared to being a, a yeah. coach in MLS? So, you know, I, can, I completely understand where fans are at, how they want us to be back to where we were. You know, there's a lot of frustration with not qualifying for the World Cup, and I can understand that. So from my standpoint, I feel a huge obligation to, to help guide the team back to the World Cup. And it's something that we're focusing all our efforts on. Having said that, there's a process to get there. And it just, you just don't, you know, take over one day and it be 
um, you know, everywhere it needs to be. You, you, there's a process of developing the team. There's a lot of hard work that we do every single day with the group to get us to where we need to be. And um, the guys have been doing a great job. They've been doing everything that we can imagine. And, um, you know, we're comfortable that when we, when we get through this year, we're going to be in a good spot. All right. Absolute honor to talk to you. Shouts to Jersey. That's what this whole interview was for. <laughs> Taylor Ham, change the game down south. All right. Thank you so much.